Hi guys, um, today I'm going to read you a story and then after the story we're going to do a little activity that goes with the book. So, the book is called Dear Miss LaRue, Letters from Obedience School, um, written and illustrated by Mark Teague. Dear Miss LaRue, how could you do this to me? This place is not a school. You should see the other dogs. They are bad dogs, Miss LaRue. I do not fit in here. Even the journey here was a horror. I am very unhappy and I need something to chew on when I get home right away. Please come soon. Sincerely, Ike. Dear Miss LaRue, were you really so upset about the chicken pie? You know that you might have discussed it with me. You could have said, Ike, don't eat the chicken pie. I'm saving it for dinner. Would that have been so difficult? It would have prevented a lot of hard feelings Needless to say, I am being horribly mistreated. You say I should be patient and accept that I'll be here through the term. Are you aware that the term lasts two months? Do you know how long that is in dog years? Sincerely, Ike. Dear Miss LaRue, I'd like to clear up some misconceptions about the Higgins cats. First, they are hardly little angels. Miss Higgins makes them out to be little ones, but they are not. Second, how should I know that they were what they were doing out in the fire escape in the middle of January? They were a little bit melodramatic, don't you think? The way they cried and refused to come down. It's hardly to believe that they were really sick for three whole days, but you know, cats. Your dog, Ike. Dear Miss LaRue, you should have seen you should see what goes on around here. The way they the way my teach I mean, Warden, Miss Klondike, Bark's orders is shocking. Day after day, I'm forced to perform the most meaningless tasks. Today, it was sit and roll over all day long. I refuse to roll over. It's ridiculous. I won't do it. Of course, I was severely punished. And another thing, who will help you cross the street while I'm away? You know that you have a bad habit of not looking both ways. Think of all the times I've been there to save you. Well, there was that one time anyway. I must say you weren't very grateful complaining on with a tiny rip in your ratty old coat, but the point is you need me. Sincerely, Ike. Dear Miss LaRue, the guards here are all caught up in like this good dog, bad dog thing. I hear it constantly, good dog, Ike. Don't be a bad dog, Ike. Is it really so good to sit like a little box all day? Nevertheless, I refuse to be broken. Miss Klondike has taken my typewriter. She claims it disrupts the other dogs. Does anyone care that the other dogs disturb me? Sincerely, Ike. Dear Miss LaRue, were the neighbors really complaining about my howling? It's so hard to imagine. First, I didn't howl that much. You were away those nights, so you wouldn't know, but trust me, it was quite moderate. Second, let's recall all those things that the other neighbors did who were constantly waking me up in the middle of the afternoon with their loud vacuuming. I say, we all have a lot to learn, um, a lot to learn and how to get along. My life here continues to be a nightmare. You wouldn't believe what goes on in the cafeteria. Sincerely, Ike. P.S. I don't want to alarm you, but the thought of it escaping has crossed my mind. Dear Mrs. LaRue, I hate to tell you this, but I'm terribly ill. It all started in my paw, causing me to limp all day. Later, I felt queasy so that I could barely eat dinner except for the yummy gravy. Then I began to moan and howl. Finally, I had to be taken to the vet. The doctor claims that he can't find anything wrong with me, but I am certain I have an awful disease. I must come home at once. Honestly, Yours, Ike. Dear Miss LaRue, thank you for the lovely get well card. Still, I'm a little surprised that you didn't come and get me. I know the doctor said, I know what the doctor says, but it is really wise to take risk with one. It's not really risk, not really wise to take risk with, one, with one's health, don't you think? I could have a relapse, you know. With fall here, I think about all the fun times I used to have in the park. I remember how sometimes you would even bring along a tennis ball. You remember that? You would throw and I would retrieve it every time except for once when it landed on something nasty and I brought you back a stick and said, Ah, oh, how I miss those days. Yours truly, Ike. 
P.S. Imagine how awful it is for me to be stuck here. P.S.S. I still feel pretty sick. Dear Miss LaRue, by the time you read this, I will be gone. I decided to attempt a daring escape. I'm sorry, but it has come to this. Since I am really a good dog, but frankly, you left me no choice. How sad is it not to be appreciated? From now on, I'll wander from town to town without a home or even any dog food, most likely. Such is the life of a desperate outlaw. I will try to write from you from time to time. I carry on a life of hardship and danger. Your lonely friend, Ike. LaRue escapes doggy school. Former Snout City resident Ike rescued it, escaped last night from the dormitory. The dog is described as Toothy by local police. He is, his current whereabouts are unknown. To be honest, I thought he was bluffing when he told me he was planning to escape, said a visual owner of the dog. Ike tends to be a little melodramatic, you know. Now I can only pray that he comes back, asked if, asked if she would return. Uh, Ike to the academy. Miss LaRue said that she would have to wait and see. He's a good dog, basically, but he can be difficult. Dear Miss LaRue, I continue to suffer horribly as I roam the barren wasteland. Who knows where my wanderings will take me now? Hopefully to some place with yummy food. Remember the special treats you used to make for me? I miss them. I miss our nice, comfy apartment, but mostly I miss you. Your sad dog, Ike. P.S. I even miss the cats. Dear Miss LaRue, the world is a hard and cruel place for a stray dog. You would scarcely believe the misery I've endured, so I've decided to return home. You may try to lock me up again, but that's a risk I must take. And frankly, more than myself, I worry about you. You may not know it, Miss LaRue, but you need a dog. Your misunderstood friend, Ike. Heroes, dog, saves owner. Ike LaRue recently until recently was a student at the Canine Academy, returned to Snort City yesterday in a dramatic fashion. In fact, he arrived just in time to rescue his owner of 2nd Avenue from an oncoming truck. Miss LaRue had, the, had made the trip down to purchase a new camel's hair coat. Apparently, she neglected to look both ways before stepping into traffic. The daring rescue was witnessed by several onlookers, uh, including a patrolman. I haven't seen rolling like that since I left the police academy, he said. Miss LaRue was unhurt in the incident, though her coat was badly torn. I don't care about that, she said. I'm just happy to be back and have my Ike back home where he belongs. Miss LaRue said she plans to throw a big party for the dog. All the neighbors will be there and I'm going to serve Ike's favorite dishes. I'll bet he can't wait to taste the chicken pie. So in that book, um, Ike writes letters back to his owner, um, but I'm gonna show you how to just write a basic letter um, that you can, you can give to any family member or any friend that you want to. Okay, so first we're gonna write the date. So today's date is May 11th, just like in the book. Um, Ike always wrote his name and then we're gonna write a greeting so you could say so the greeting is who you're writing it to so if you're gonna write it to your brother or sister you could write dear and in their name I'm gonna put dear brother then you're gonna put a comma then right here you're gonna write the body of your letter so this is what you're trying to say so you might say, I love being your friend. You are so nice. So once you write your message, you are going to write the closing. So you could put from or sincerely like Ike does in the book. I'm gonna put from sister. So just like the book, we have our date, our, our greeting, our body, and our closing. So this would be really fun to write a letter to anyone you want.